I just want to wish everybody good luck in Cooperstown baseball. This is a well, could be a really big break for somebody. Uh, Joey got the Atlanta and Milwaukee Braves. Anthony K, the Boston Red Sox, the Brooklyn and LA Dodgers. You can just see your teams, California and LA Dodgers. So it's teams throughout the history and times of baseball. You got Oakland and Philadelphia A's there. All kinds of different historical type uh, connections between the San Francisco Giants and the New Orleans Giants right there. That's really cool. Um, New York and San Francisco. And uh, so we'll see. We'll see what we can pull out of here. Maybe we can get one of the cut signatures. Here's a checklist right here that I'll be using. Some of these can be a little bit uh, important to figure out and everything. So just have the checklist right here as we get ready for the rip. Good luck. That's really something, Al. Well, um, Joe DiMaggio. Uh, I believe it's an army card of Joe DiMaggio. He was in the army. Yep, Army Air Force. Seventh Army Air Force. That is cool. Look at this one right here, this induction card. Right there, that's really cool. Nice induction card, Minnesota Twins. And we have the Scooperstown etched in Cleveland. 
Cleveland Indians. 25 of 25. Nice. All right. That's really cool. Etched in. We'll see what else comes out of here. Good luck, everybody. Really excited for these Hall of Fame autos coming up. That's a big thing. When you're in Cooperstown, you know, we've got some Hall of Famers coming up. So, but here is a Bob Gibson. 24 of 75 St. Louis Cardinals Bob Gibson. Number is 75. And it's, is this another Burt Levin? No, this is Bruce Sutter. Okay. They kind of look alike a little bit. That's St. Louis Cardinals as well. So two back-to-back St. Louis Cardinals ones right here. But the Gibson was the parallel out of the two. Cooperstown Baseball. A lot of baseball history can be found in this box break. We could be pulling a cut signature of somebody like this. Dead ball arrow. This is probably going to be the Philadelphia A's. Uh, I want to go ahead and confirm that. I, I believe it's going to be Philadelphia A's. Eddie Collins. So going right to the checklist. I uh, want to make sure we get this right. It is Philadelphia A's. And so, yep, that is going to go to the Philadelphia A's owner. Uh, Jared. Only some Jared's. This one's yours. Nice one, man. There's just cool stuff coming out of here. Our first Hall of Fame autograph. Out of the box. Is a Cubs Fergie Jenkins. Nice one. All right. Hall of Fame auto. Fergie Jenkins. For the Cubs, I don't see a number on this one. But it is a nice auto Chicago Cubs pitcher. That's Joshua A's hit. Fergie. I didn't know they say Tom Hanks' character in League of Their Own is based off Jimmy Fox. I had no idea. Next hit of the break. Good luck, everybody. What's it going to be? Hey, I thought we usually get two Hall of Fame signatures now. That would be really unusual if we only got one. This happens to be a one of one. Barry Larkin induction card. This is a very unusual box. So we got a one of one that uh, where there's usually another autograph sitting. Cincinnati Reds, congratulations. Nice one of one, Barry Larkin. It's very unusual. All right, so we got the Fergie Jenkins. And then we have an Eddie Murray. Baltimore. Congratulations. That is Baltimore Orioles. Joshua A, number 25 of 25. Pedro. 25, number to 25, another uh, blue parallel. It's got that blue foil. Nice Pedro. A Duke Schneider comes out. Duke Schneider, Brooklyn Dodgers. And a Gaylord Perry. And that is New York. Mm -hmm. 
You know what the Gaylord Perry is going to be New York Giants. Uh, that uh, I was just checking the checks. So let me look at the number. Number thirty nine. Okay. Gaylord Perry number thirty nine. Okay, so this actually isn't going to be New York Giants. But it was really close to being New York Giants because you can see here the Hall of Fame dual signatures. Giants. But after looking at the card number, he does fall under card number 39. Perry. I'll put in Gaylord. Can only be one of those <laughs> or two, two uh, in for two different teams. Okay, so there's the Padres, Gaylord Perry. And that doesn't fall. Card number 39 is not there, or it's not here. So it's a base card. I'm, I'm going to look further into it, try to try to get this right. Uh, I'll be looking further into who gets a Gaylord Perry from this break. It is a base card, and it's labeled New York, and it could be New York Giants. Play for eight teams. Interesting piece of baseball history. Pretty neat box break. Kind of surprised about. <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. Those movies are so funny. The uh, Meet the Parents. Those are hilarious movies. So I'm looking, I'm looking around. Every box usually has two Hall of Famers. Well, that one did not. I think it says on average. We've hit some awesome hits out of this. So it hasn't really let us down. We've had some gem cards. We've had some nice ones coming out. But it, it does say, you know, usually there's two, but it's very vague. We only had one that box. Most of every box has two. But it is kind of vague on the box cover. Okay, so so it's gonna go to uh, okay. Well, it says New York on the card, so I'm thinking it's gonna go to New York Giants. That's what I'm thinking. Much more likely to go to New York Giants, uh, I think, than anything. That's probably where that'll go is the New York Giants owner, baseball, New York Giants. He played for Yankees for part of a year, but he was inducted in Cooperstown as Giants. So uh, longest tenure. I think, I think we have another checklist we could actually fall back on. Like if this was autographed and we we're having this kind of trouble, there is another checklist we would fall back on. And so I will actually go through that process. But it's going to it's going to say New York Giants. I mean, it's a base card. It's going to say New York Giants. I'm I'm almost 100% sure. And so, but if it was ordered or numbered, we we would do that right now. But uh what I want to do right now, I want to get everybody ready. Uh, for the next break.